Well, back to the review of Collateral. Collateral with Tom Cruise and Jimmy Fox. Oh, man, Jimmy Fallon. Um, so basically, um, as I was saying, back onto the scene where um, Jamie Fox is, he's like, you, you gotta go visit your mother. Come on. It's like, no, I can't. I can't visit her today. It's like, okay, so uh, it's like, okay, so we're gonna, we're gonna. He's like, where are you gonna go? It's like, we're gonna go to the hospital. We're gonna pull up and go to the hospital and all that. And he's like, okay, well, are you gonna get her flowers or anything? He's like, I wasn't thinking about that. No, it's like, you gotta go and get her flowers. Be a gentleman, you know. I just love that. I love that whole like the fact that this guy is a fucking like thug gangster gunman and like he's still like dude you gotta be polite to your mother <laughs> you know still like respect your mother that's what makes him such a great compelling interesting villain character er. anyway so I really love that part of the film um, and essentially he's there like it's like okay yeah we'll go it's like come on so the drive is like Go in there. I goes into a flower shop. Say, do you have these? Like, oh yeah, thank you. There you go. There you go. There you go. Thank you. Guess the flowers. Come on, let's go. They drive all the way to the hospital. Get some great shots of LA. You get there. Get out of the car. Say, come on, let's go in. Open the door to go into the hospital. It's like, come on, let's go. It's like, okay, fine, let's go. We gotta go in now. And I just hope this goes well. Now I will say one thing. Um, throughout the film. It kind of cuts back and forth between Tom Cruise and Jamie Foxx and the detective character, Mark Ruffalo, played by Mark Ruffalo. And I'm going to talk about all these guys, this guy's scenes. First of all, I liked his fucking haircut in this film. I thought he was the fucking, like, going to be, like, the villain or some shit. Um, but I love this haircut in this movie. He's there, appears like, oh, yeah, it's great, and drives, like... Well, what do we got? Multiple people dying. It's like, oh shit, who, who, who's there? And he shows up a after like the crime and it becomes like a cat and mouse game. He shows up, he's like, what happened? He was just thrown out the window. He's like, shit, I want the DA to do this, that, and the other. He's like, hey, there's some evidence. We might find it this way. He's like, okay, cool. I want that done. I want this done. I want it done. I was like, okay, cool. Thank you. And then he's like, who's this cab driver? He's like, Max. Max driver was like, cool. It's like, I think he could be responsible. I don't think he is. He, he might. He'd been taken hostage by this assassin's if you really think that. I honestly do think that, yes. So I like that Mark Ruffalo's a likable guy that might believe Max and wants to help him out and shit. Um, I really enjoyed that. And so I was like, oh, great. And then they show up to the part where it's like, oh, God, how many people were shot in later on when, uh, you know, Tom Cruise goes, he a homie, is that my suitcase? And he goes up and like, oh, shit, how many people were shot? It's like... A lot of people, she, if he goes up to the, the to the room, goes, oh, shit. Looks at the window, like, Jesus, how many people are here and all that? He's like, he was throwing out the window, like, oh, shit. It's like, chief, we have something for you. He goes down, and it's like, oh, shit, what's going on? And they're fucking around. It's like, chief, he goes, yeah, catch. Throws it from, out the window. It's like, thank you, grabs it. It's like, what is it? It's like, this is what we found. It's like, so what are we going to do? we got to go do this, that, and the other. And he's really believable as a cop. It's like, we got to go find Max and find out who these people are. Gotta identify these bodies and stuff, bring them down to the He's like, come on, let's go. So every scene he's in, he's great. It kind of cuts back. It's like, yeah, so what are we doing? Yeah, yeah, okay, great. And he's driving and stuff. And this is also the first time he plays a cop in a movie because he actually played a cop in Zodiac as well. Um, So there was that. There's that scene where he's in the morgue. He's like, in the hospital. He's like, yeah, it's a, this the body? It's like, yeah, it's crazy. Okay, identify it. Do this, do that, the other. I was like, come on, let's go out. He gets out, walks away. And it's just fucking great. He's just fucking great in this movie. And, you know, you have Jamie Foxx and Tom Cruise. Like, I'm here to see such and such. It's like, yeah, okay, right this way. Right this way, sir. I was like, okay. My name's Max. He's like, okay, let's go. He's like, let's go up. And he's like, how could you not remember your mother to see your mother? He's like, I did. I just busy stuff to do. It's not more important than your mother who's not well. You know, it's like, you, come on. You got to have more respect than that, Max. And I just... I love that about Tom Cruise in this film. So they go on the lift and then you get this great scene where Mark Ruffalo's character walks in and well, of course he doesn't really um, recognize Max. I don't think. No, he doesn't like, I, he talks about Max in a different scene. Uh, Mark Ruffalo He's like, Hey, how are you? He's like, Hey, how are you? He's like, I'm good. How's your night? Oh, it's been pretty crazy. How's yours? Oh, it's crazy so far. 
It's like, yeah. And they're like, oh my God, they're in the same room together. And they walk off and it's like, oh shit. Um, and it's like, come on, I got to bring the briefcase and stuff. They're like, we got to find this briefcase. You know, there's other scenes of Mark Ruffalo saying that. And they go in, he's like, and goes in, he's like, here, someone see you. Hey, mom, is like, oh, hey, Max, I, where were you? I was so worried about you. He's like, I'm fine, I'm fine. What, what happened to you? What's what happened about the taxi crash? He's like, I'm fine, I'm fine. Mom's like, he's like, who's this? He's like, this is my friend. Oh, you didn't tell me you had a new friend. He's like, hi, nice to meet you, man. You're lovely. Oh, and all that. And I love that whole, like, thing, like that, because he's being polite. Although he's a fucking psychopath. It's like, it's great to to meet you. He's like, oh, that's great. Oh, he's, my son's annoying. He's like, okay, mom's case. He's like, no, he's not. Oh, he's so shy. He's so worried. It's like, okay, I better get going. Oh, he's always in a hurry. He's always like that as a kid. Let me show you this. It's like, oh, yeah. And she's just being a typical mother. It's like, what's your name? It's like, oh, yeah, what do you, oh, what do you do? What's your name? Oh, such and such. It's like, what do you, oh, I'm a businessman. Yeah, yeah. Um, and it's just fucking brilliantly done. It's like, we better get going. It's like, oh, why are you in such a rush? It's like, yeah, do you like the flowers? It's like, yeah, mom. It's like, listen, mom, I love you. It's like, yeah, yeah, sure. So I talked, like, we better get going. It's like, oh, no, no. Um, and it's like, come on, we gotta go. It's like, no, you gotta be polite to your mom and all that. And you get this great dialogue between them in the hospital room and like, okay, we gotta go. And it's like, oh, God, whatever. Please just be careful. It's like, okay. And it's like, oh, she's crazy. <laughs> it's like, I'm sure he is, yeah. And you're like, oh, fuck. And you, you kind of worried that he's going to hurt them. And he's like, I'm not going to hurt your mom. You know, earlier on, he's like, please don't hurt. He's like, I won't. Right, gets the gun. He's like, oh, you don't want that happening, do you? And all that. And then it's like, I, I got to make a deal with this guy. I got to get, get the briefcase to this guy or whatever. And essentially what ends up happening then is practically what ends up happening then is... Uh, Max sees the briefcase and we get this fucking awesome, fucking awesome scene that is just amazing. It is amazing. It's a great chase scene between the two. Max grabs the briefcase, runs off with it. He's like, where's the case? It's crazy. He looks in and goes, oh shit, excuse me a second. Fuck. And he runs off. He's like, Max, give me that fucking case. He's running away. He's like, oh shit, run down the hospital, going to the lift. It's like, I'll fucking kill you and all this. Going down the stairs. It's like, oh shit, running running down the street. He's like, give me the fucking case, Max. Pulls the gun out. He's like, give me the case. Or I'll He's like, no, you ain't gonna. You're gonna need it. You leave me alive. He's like, shit. He's like, <laughs> He's like, fuck. So they're just running through LA. It's a great, like, fucking chase. The music, the tension, the way it builds up. Runs to the bridge. It's all like, better stop. He's like, put the case down, Max. Put it down. He's like, no, I'm not gonna. I'm gonna throw, throw it over, overboard and all that. He's like, no, you're not. Looks down at the train tracks. Or is it a car or something like that? And just throws the fucking... Like, no! <laughs> Smashes the fucking case. He's like, son of a bitch. Get in the car. He's like, okay, 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 sorry. Gets in. And he's like, listen, you know what? You realize what you've just done and all that. And you get this really like, oh shit. The motherfucker is definitely pissed now. You know? It's not right, Matthew Davis. Sorry, his videos are on TV. Um... So I'm like, oh, fuck me up the ass on Friday morning. Some serious shit's going on. So he's just there in the back and he's like, you're going to have to do something. He's like, okay, okay. He drives over. And he's like, so this is what's going to happen. You're going to have to go and pretend to be this guy. You're going to have to pretend to be me to go to this guy. You're going to meet him. He's like, go out to side this nightclub. And he's like, what? No, I can't do that. I'm like, he was like, no, no, no. Well, this is your de decision. You, you shouldn't have thrown the, the briefcase out. You wouldn't have to do this, man. He's like, okay, okay. Just let me think for a second. It's okay. Go and do it. Put a wire on. It's like, there you go. It's like, okay. Okay. And then you get this really fucking fantastic scene. Like, this is, in my opinion, one of the best scenes in the whole movie. It's brilliant. It's really well done. He walks in. He's like, hey, Adi. He's like, who are you? He's like, okay. Max, Max, I'm here to see things. No one sees him. It's like, yeah, but I'm just here to see him. It's like, okay, go in. So he walks in the nightclub and he's just walking around. And you hear the do, 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 and all the fucking music playing. And he's just walking around this nightclub looking around and shit, checking people out. And there's like all these kind of thug looking people. He's like, yes, that's great or whatever. And Max pretends to be um, his character. He has a fake name. 
and you're kind of just like, oh fuck, and some serious shit's about to go down. The Mark Ruffalo and all go in, and it's like, okay, we gotta go, go that way, go this way, we gotta see what's happening. Right, it's like, I, I believe Max on this one, because they look at the taxi cab, what do you think of that? Okay, that's Matt, what's this guy's name? Oh, it's Max, okay, we gotta go see where he is. So he's walking through or whatever, and he's like, okay, sit down, he's like, okay, okay. It's like, who are you? He's like, who are you? He's like, I'm no, I'm nobody, I'm just, I'm just a guy you need to meet, and all that. And he's like, okay, okay. And they, they pat him down, he's like, check him, he's like, what are you doing? It's like, listen, he's like, where's my money and all that? And he's like, oh, uh, it's lost, I lost it. He's like, what? It got destroyed, I lost it, I'm sorry. He's like, please don't hurt me. He's like, I promise I'll get you back. He's like, you mean to tell me that you hurt my, you took my money and you fucked it up and all that shit, you, you got rid of it? And they're sitting there, he's like, yeah, he's like, haha, well, I'm gonna have to do something about that, you know. And it's like, oh shit, what's Max got himself? He's like, come on, Max, don't worry about it. And it's kind of coming back and forth. It's like, okay. And you're kind of just like, oh shit. And the tension in that scene is built up so fucking high. And it's like, fuck, get the fuck out of this situation, Max. Um, it's like, come on, you know, I'm gonna have to do something about it. I was like, no. I don't know, it's like, it pulls up, I, I think he pulls it, I was like, ah, oh, fucking do it, you know, it's like, okay, I don't know, I don't know, and then, eventually, Tom Cruise just comes into the nightclub, and he's like, you're, and then eventually, they go, hey, you're not that guy, you know, there's a whole scene, it's like, yeah, come on up here, it show him around, it's like, oh, it's great, and they go up, and they show him around the nightclub, like, here it is, here it is, you know, this is how it is, and all that, and you just get this great, long sequence in the nightclub, and stuff, and, brilliant shots of people dancing it's like yeah this is where it all is and then the gangsters talking at the top of it um and i love that it's not dated at all like like you think it's so 2000s no the, the dance disc i mean it's like it actually suits the movie well and tom cruise just walks in or whatever and then this is where you get a great fucking action sequence um that's really well fucking made and well done um so comes in or whatever it's like wait you're not him and then the guys the guys around wait where he is and then tom cruise is just there and he's like, <laughs> like oh shit and they're like ah and, he's like, <laughs> and tom cruise is just there <laughs> and it's like oh shit and then the cops like fbi stop it <laughs> and he's like oh shit no when the max is nearly getting shot up <laughs> and brilliant practical effects the action and the editing in the, like the action is filmed so well and the editing is done so well like it's Carried on just like in heat, you know, the action being so well, well done. It's like, <laughs> it's like, oh shit. Tom Cruise is blowing his face, like, come on, come on, pew, pew, and all that. And just get this badass, like, fuck you, you know, he's like, hey, stop it, freeze. And then he's shooting at Mark Ruffalo. And it's also like, Mark Ruffalo, when he sees the guy, he's like, oh, he was in the elevator, you know. He's like, grab him, grab him. And they're running away, like, no, 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 Max, you're under arrest, like, no, 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 and all that. And then they're just shooting, shooting, shooting. Um, and all that, and eventually Mark Ruffalo comes up, he's like, hey, you Max, like, yeah, come on, I'm here to help you, he's like, I didn't do anything, I know, I know, I'm gonna help you, get out of here, come on, just follow me, and then Tom Cruise, just everyone's going around, like, yeah, pew, 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 you know, badass fucking scene, you're like, oh, shit, and it's a brilliant action sequence that goes on for a while, and then everyone's running up, like, oh, come on, come on, let's go, he's like, come on, I'm gonna help you, he's like, how are you gonna help me, he's like, I'm gonna help you get out of here, and then eventually, just, Bang! Fucking out of nowhere, Mark Ruffalo gets shot in the head, like, pew, And by Tom Cruise, like, come on, let's go. He's like, what the fuck are you doing? He's like, come on, we gotta get out of here. Come on, Max, get in, like, get in the fucking car. He's like, no, Jack, come on, come on, let's go. Oh, shit. Drive's like, why the fuck did you do that? He's like, I had to do it, Max. We're a team, you know? We're gonna help, I'm gonna help you out of this shit. And it's like, we're not a team, we're not friends. Like, oh yeah, we are, Max. And that's just brilliant fucking scene like it's like oh fuck and then the cops come like oh, oh shit what's happening i don't know i don't know and then you're getting into this finale you get this is where we're starting to slowly come into the third act um and essentially you know we're getting to this part it's like what are you going to do about it you can't do anything with your life you know you 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 all you do is stay in this cab, you know, after a while, I just don't give a shit about it, anything, I just do this for, you know, the money and all, you get this great monologue by Tom Cruise, and it's just like, fuck, such a great fucking scene, I fucking love this movie, man, honestly, 
So as we're driving, you get these great shots of LA. It's like, what are you doing, all that? It's like, oh, I don't know if I, I can take this shit anymore. And like, this is where Jamie Foxx starts to grow some balls and stand up to to um, Tom Cruise's character. And you're like, oh, fuck. And it's great character development. It's a great build-up. It's The character's very well, well written, starting off kind of nerdy, geeky, socially awkward, just a nice, everyday taxi man. And then this fucking shit happens, and you're like, oh, fuck. Um, so he's driving and shit. And he's like, yeah, I, was like, I, gotta, I can't take this anymore. And, and Tom Cruise all like, oh, whatever, what are you going to do? And he's like, speeding, he's like, okay, slow down, Max, slow down. And he's just like, oh, no. And he's like, slow down, Max, slow the fucking car down. And he's like, no. And he's just like, oh, shit. And then that's where it uses steady cam outside. I'm like, oh, fuck, no. It's like, no, goes past. And he's like, they're going beep. He's like, no. And then, slow down, Max. And the car just goes, <laughs> flips over, whatever. And you're just like, Oh, shit. And you're just kind of like, dude. Dude. And then you're like, oh. It's like, oh, fuck. And he gets out of the car. It's like, oh, God. Oh, God. You know. Now, this is where I'm going to, I'm going to do a little backtrack. Get some great, like, I'm going to go back to the start of the film. Opening, you get some great shots of L.A., Great shots of the airport. Just Max like, yeah, yeah, come on. Picking up people like, we're going this way. He's like, yeah, we're going this way. And then there's a couple arguing like, fuck you, fuck you. He's like, yeah, we're going this way. Yeah, I'll be there soon, whatever. And then he picks up Jada Pinkett Smith's character. Um, A.K.A. Uh, G.I. Jane, sorry. G.I. Jane, do can't wait to see you. Um, sorry, this interview is so long. I was enjoying doing the first part. This part, not so much. <laughs> I mean, I'm enjoying it, but it's just... There's so much other movies to review. But it's so fun. It's so exciting. Sorry. <laughs> so, yeah. So basically, you know, picks her up. It's like, yeah, okay, let's go that way, that way. It's like, just drop me up over here. Thanks. It's like, and it's like, okay. And it's just being a bitch, like, being fucking bitchy. Being like... No, just go this way. It's like, no, I think the other way is actually faster. It's like, really, how do you know that? Because I do the cab every night. And you get, like, I think a five or six minutes in, maybe seven minutes, maybe ten minutes, of um, both of the characters talking. Um, you know, both of the characters talking and just being like, so how long have you been here for working on taxi cab for years? What, do you like the job? It's like, oh yeah, it's great. I love going around the city every night, get to go to different places. It's brilliant. I love LA. It's like, really? Yeah, so what do you do? I'm a lawyer and all that. You're a lawyer? It's like, yeah. Oh, what's going on? You got to go do the case? It's like, yeah, I got to do this case and all that shit. Yeah, it's like, oh shit, are you hoping to win? Well, hopefully, but I feel like we're losing because it's a hard one. So it's like, I'm not sure if I'm going to, do it right. It's like, oh, well, maybe you will. It's like, yeah, okay, hopefully. It's like, so what do you want to do? It's like, oh, hope it's good. Can you talk about the case? Not really, no. It's insane. It's uh, someone kills someone and it's all this other shit. It's like, oh, really? Yeah. It's like, yeah. So how do you do it, Max? It's like, I don't know. And it's just great shots in the scenes and him looking in the mirror and there's some great back and forth dialogue, great chemistry between them, very natural. And they both done a great job, even though that bitch, Jada Pinkett Smith, they can't fucking stand, but... Besides that, what well, in real life, she's doing a great job here. It's so like, really, it's great, yeah. So, bringing me that place, like, yeah. So, hopefully, I'll see it on the news. Yeah, you might, yeah. So, they're just back and forth, back and forth, back and forth for ages, just talking, 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 talking. So, that goes on for like seven minutes, whatever. The end, I was like, thanks here. So, it's like, good luck. Yeah, see you soon, Max. Like, great, right, bye. See ya. I was like, all oh, right, I probably won't see you again, but bye. It's like, okay. And then he's like, damn, you know. And she comes back, hey, here's my number just in case I need you again. He's like, okay, thank you. And he looks and he's like, oh, shit, you know. So, yeah. Um, I also love the title card when it pops up at the start. The opening scene where Tom Cruise is like, yeah, sure, whatever. And he's walking through the airport. And you got Jason fucking Statham at the start. He's like, oh, yeah, great, yeah. And he's actually barely in it. He's like, here you go. He's like, thank you. Gets the case. Walking through. Great shot in the airport in the opening scene grabs the case off Jason Statham only time he appears in the film but really brilliantly done scene um, and yeah 
Oh, so getting into the final act, uh, when Tom, uh, Jamie Foxx is flipped over in the car, cop comes like, oh my God, man, are you okay? He's like, yeah, I'm fine, I'm fine. It's like, oh shit, you got to stay here. You got to be okay. It's like, God, oh, you're bleeding. It's like, no, fine, let me get you another cab. Your taxi driver, yeah, like, get yeah, ambulance. So, no, it's fine. It's like, wait, is that blood? Is there another guy there? And he, he's like, he just comes down. And he's like, oh my God. And he sees Tom Cruise's character. He's like, put your hands in the air. It's like, whoa, 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 no. It's like, you have to hurt someone. Put your hands in the air. Like, no. It's like, don't fucking move. And then out of nowhere, just Tom Cruise's like, you, you okay? He's like, yeah. <laughs> Tom Cruise shoots him. Like, come on. He's like, oh shit. And he's running. And then he's like, I'm gonna, you know, he's running and fucking shooting at him. He's like, oh shit. And then you just, just get this amazing look. Oh, fuck. And just beforehand, he's like, I'm gonna kill her. You know that? I'm gonna hurt her. And he's like, she's the girl that's working my case. I'm gonna fucking kill her. He's like, oh, she's like, I'm telling you, she's dead. I believe they're on the phone. And one point, he's like, I'm telling you, Max, she is fucking dead. You know, she's working my case. Like, don't you fucking dare hurt her. And all that. And it's just this amazing shit. It's like running and then you're like, oh fuck. And that's when the suspense and tension runs up and it's like becomes like a great action movie moment. He's running away from him and all that. And you're kind of just like, oh fuck me up the arse. You know. And as they're running, you know, Jada Pinkett Smith's just at home typing, doing her own shit, and then he, Max goes like, hey, hey, he's like, oh hey, what's up? Harry was like, listen. I don't know, but the guy that's working the case, he's going to come and he's going to try and kill you. He's like, what? He's like, there's a guy, I swear, I know this is weird, I know you barely know me, but there's a guy, I have to protect you, you have to get out of your apartment. There's a guy trying to kill you. He's like, okay, Max, if this is a joke, it's not funny. And he's like, no, it's not a joke. There's a guy, he's trying to come, he's going to fucking kill you. He's like, okay, get out. Like, I'm, trust me, right? So he's running up and then Tom Cruise is just running in the building. He's like, hi, I believe, does he shoot a security guard? I can't remember and he shoots whatever because there's a part where she walks in he's like hi hi and the security goes up and then Tom is like where is she? she's like okay runs and then Tom Cruise is just looking around and he's like you know and then Max is running to her and she's there freaking out Jada Pinkett Smith and it's just this great like dynamic with the three characters and it's cutting back and forth back and forth the edit and then Tom Cruise is just there with the gun and the blood on his face yeah, just an iconic fucking moment. Um, and like just running, it's like, oh shit. And then you're thinking, oh shit, no, he's in your apartment, all right? And then he just busts in, he's not even in the right apartment. Then she runs away, and Max comes in, like, oh shit, it's like, hey, it's like, it's like, what you do? It's like, oh, I'm gonna, you're, you're really gonna let her, let this bitch get away with this? She's gonna do that? It's like, she's gonna try and get me sued? Well, no. You're gonna die, Max. Like, no! And he's like, pew, pew, and they're fucking shooting. And then this is where Tom Cruise becomes even more scary, more of the fucking villain. And you're like, okay, you wanna see Max kill this motherfucker. So Max is like, right. He's like, oh, oh my god, there you are. It's like, so like, oh, what are we doing? Don't do, get the fuck out of here. So like, come on, let's go. They're running. Then this is where it kind of becomes like the thriller side of it. Because it's like an action film, but as it says on the back, top thriller, you know. It is a thriller. Like, it's a, it is a thriller. So, like, come on. It's like, get back here. And then running down. It's like, get back here. It's like, no, no, get, around, get away. And all they're shooting, they're running. It's like, come on. And then Tom Cruise is like, yeah. And everyone's like, oh, shit. And then they're in the fucking subway station. And then, like, um, they're shooting. It's like, come on, let's get on the train. It's like, come on. Gets on there. And, like, come on. And they're running through, like, the different passenger, uh, the, like, carriages. And then you're kind of just like, oh, fuck. And then it, that, this, the ending kind of reminded me of Speed, actually, where, like, Dennis Hopper was after Sandra Bullock and uh, Keanu Reeves. But it's great as well. Speed, I, I don't know, it's a hard, that's a hard decision. <laughs> as to, um, as to what movie's better, but both great movies. Um, oh, God, I hate when I'm talking and I'm rushing and talking, like, and my fucking jaw kind of starts to hurt. It's, ugh, I hate that. Um, that's the one thing about reviewing films I don't like. Um, I've become very OCD, I think, with talking about... Because I want to talk about everything because I love just discussing the movie. And I enjoy talking. Sometimes I do enjoy doing other reviews more than others. Like, I enjoyed doing the first part of this. And I just was kind of like, yeah, I want to start reviewing another film because I've already kind of talked about this. So I'm going to try and get into the habit of, of uh, reviewing movies in parts uh, no no as one hopefully 
So anyway, Tom Cruise is like, and just multiple scenes and trying not to all overly make them too long. That's what she said. But Tom Cruise is there, running away. He's like, like, like Jane Foster, like, oh come on, come on. Jada Pinkett Smith's there, like, oh shit. Tom Cruise, is like, get back here. He's just like, <laughs> like, oh fuck. Grabs it. I don't even know. Like, Jamie Foxx, I think, grabs a gun somewhere. He's like, oh shit. Get some great shots. And like, no, I was like, I'm gonna get you. I'll fucking catch up. Kill this bitch. And like, oh shit. And then he's just like, they're just running, like, come on. And it's kind of that scene there, like, where they run away. She's like, oh god, no. You know, that's the part where she's all afraid. And he's just like, I'm gonna fucking get you. And all that. And he's like, putting, like, ah, putting me fucking hitting him. And he's like, oh shit. Tries to shoot him. Like, fuck you, Max. Grabs him. Hits him. Get a great fucking fight. Then Max grabs the gun, I believe, and just goes, <laughs> shoots Tom Cruise, like, come on, the train stops to get over it. It's like, oh shit, I believe he gets with Jada Pinkett Smith. Cops comes like, oh great, they get the body. He's like, you okay, Max? He's like, yeah, fine. They go off together. I believe they get together to kiss. He's like, oh, the case went great, whatever. The movie ends. And I just, I love this movie. <laughs> um, it is such a brilliant movie. Michael Mann done a great job. It's perfect. This is everything you want in an action movie, in a crime thriller. It's different. It's a scary scenario that someone could get themselves into unnecessarily, but not that Jamie Foxx got himself into it. Don't be a cab driver. I'm joking. But this movie is just brilliant. It, it's I just, what more can I say? Brilliantly shot, brilliantly edited, brilliantly acted. Tom Cruise, like, he becomes this character, this villainous character, and... I watched Mission Impossible today for the first time, believe it or not. And very different character. Ethan Hunt is a very different character to this character that he plays. But brilliant movie. So I honestly give it a 10 out of 10. Brilliant movie. Great poster. Uh, it's on Netflix as well. So if you want to watch it on, there, on the UK Netflix anyway. So I'm from Ireland. But, you know. So, yeah. Um, definitely pick it up. If you haven't already, the print of this Blu-ray is amazing. Um, here's the front. The spine. Back, I believe Sterling saw this film. I'm not 100% sure. And Matthew probably has as well. And there's the Blu-ray disc. Um, German Blu-ray. Obviously, I watched the movie in English, but, you know. Because I am, you know, Irish, but I speak English, obviously. Um, yeah, so... I will have a few more reviews to do for you guys. So, stay tuned for them. I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.